everyone, I am Lala Bad. Welcome. Today I am making for you neck bones. Um, I guess they're called smothered because they are in a gravy. I just want to start the video off by saying this recipe is not my recipe. This recipe came via Purple from Purple and Blue TV. I will be putting a link to their channel below. She actually, um, I have been asking her and begging her to show me how to make neck bones and she finally did the video. Um, it's basically her recipe. I don't think I do anything different. I feel like I go right by that recipe because it's a pretty good one. It's a great recipe. Okay, so neck bones. These are pork neck bones. Now, again, I know all of y'all are not y'all into the healthy eating and all that stuff, but this is not something we eat every day or every month even. You got to clean them. Now, pork neck bones. Yes. Now, from what I heard, you have to clean how you got to clean them is um you see this right here? It's like a indent. You see? It's like a right here. Usually that, um, sometimes, sometimes butchers don't clean that out and you got to take that out. But this one's pretty clean. So I just check them all and make sure that that piece is, is, is out. This is another different part of the neck bone. But you do get pieces of meat. Now this costs $8.32. Now neck bones are exactly what it says. They're bones. Cleaned out. Um... It's bones with just a little bit of meat on them. So the gravy is super delicious because it has all that broth, which is super good. Uh, some people use these in soups as well. And uh, sometimes um, I'll make um, like a Mexican soup out of the neck bones as well. So you're going to triple clean your neck bones. If you have this right here, you would clean that out. Then you're going to rinse them. So that's your second clean. Your third clean is right here in this pot. Now, this pot only has water in it. You're gonna add your bones and you're gonna let them cook for about 10 minutes. And that is your third cleaning. Now, don't ask me why. I think it's just to get all the scum off of the meat. But again, this is Purple's, one of her tips in her video, so I'm doing that. I have a pot of boiling water going because we're going to have to cook them in some boiling water. And I wanted to have that prepared so I don't have to wait forever. So in the meantime, while this is cooking for 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to be preparing the vegetables. Let's go to the table and do that now. For this recipe, you will be needing celery, bell pepper, onion, and garlic. You see all that scum? That's what we wanted to come out of the neck bones. So the next step is to strain all this. You want all this out and then rinse off the bones once more. The reason for this purpose is so that your neck bones will have a clean taste. Okay, so Remember to clean out your pan if you're going to use the same pan because the scum kind of sticks. Now, I felt the scum and it felt really dirt, like dirt. So I can see why that, why people do that. I hope, the whole reason I got this pot of water boiling is so that we can start the boil and we don't have to wait for too long. Now, to the pan, you're going to add the cleaned, three times clean neck bones. You're going to add the celery, bell peppers, onions. 
Now, I was going to cut my own garlic, but I looked at the garlic and I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I have some jarred garlic that I will be using. Two hefty tablespoons. All right, so now I'm going to be adding some of this stuff. This is cilantro cooking base. Uh, for rice, beans, soups, chilies, and stews. This is somewhat of a stew. Now I'm gonna add, I don't know, let me see. One, two, three, four. About four tablespoons for right now. I think my, you know what, I'm gonna just add the whole can. I'm gonna have to add the whole bottle. So there's only about that much left. So that's, let me see, how many did I say? Four, five, six, well, seven or eight tablespoons of that. That's all I'm gonna do. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think purple added the whole thing, to be honest with you. Y'all know me, I'm extra. I like to be extra. Okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna add some salt. I'm using kosher salt. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, maybe. Maybe like three teaspoons, I don't know. Just add salt to taste. I'm gonna add some black pepper. What else can I put in here? Ooh, celery salt, why not? I don't know, about like a teaspoon, maybe? Ooh, garlic powder, onion powder, the basics, the basics. Let's add the basics. I'm adding about a tablespoon. Uh, onion powder. Mm. Um, I don't remember if I added bay leaf or not. I think I'm gonna add a bay leaf. Why not? Bay leaf. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Again, I don't remember her recipe to the tea, but y'all know I always make my my own my own. So I'm gonna add two bay leaves. Don't come for me, purple. <laughs> oh, how about some sazon? Some sazon tropical. Sazon tropical. I'll add. Because it does have salt, so I'm going to be careful to add that. I'm adding like a teaspoon. All right, let's stir it up and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to taste the, the soup base. I know it's raw. I don't care. I've, I've, I've lived this long doing that, so. Mmm. That tastes good. So far, so good. What else do I have back here? <laughs> Ooh, vegetable seasoning. Why not? Should I make it add some chicken base? How about some badia complete? I only have a little bit in there. I'm gonna add that. What else do we have back here? Some thyme maybe? Maybe I add a little thyme. Y'all should see all the bottles that are open right now. <laughs> Y'all know me, okay? We gonna do it, we gonna do it right, okay? Um, it's about like that much. All right. Chicken broth flavor stuff. I'm going to add like one, two, three, four, five. Four tablespoons. I wonder if they make a pork base. Mmm, that could be good. Okay, let's taste this. Yeah, it's not salty. Tasted good. They needed that. All right, let this cook for two or three hours. We'll come back and check on it. Again, covered. Once it comes to a boil, put it on medium. And again, let it cook for three hours. Okay. See you soon. All right, so here are the next 
the nets. And you can't see because of the smoke. Let me cut this down a little bit so you can see. Wait. It's tender. It's tender. Like the meat. That's the meat right there. You see how that just fall? It falls. It's falling right off the bone. You can't see because it keeps fogging up. But yeah. Now I'm going to turn it up higher so that the, the gravy can get thicker because it's just a little too thin. If it doesn't thicken up, then I will be putting some cornstarch. This isn't really thickening like I want. I did take out the bay leaves because we're all done with the bay leaves. So I took out two bay leaves. So I'm going to add cornstarch. I'm going to get like a good hefty tablespoon. I'm going to add that to a bowl. I'm going to get some water. make what they call a slurry and you're gonna see you're gonna see that sauce tighten up all right so there are your nick bones the green beans these don't even need seasoning I just added butter and pepper they taste so good let me show you what kind they are these right here. I'm so glad I picked up two. These right here, yo. These right here, they're they're everything. Get them. And then our mashed cheesy mashed potatoes. Our and then our neck bones. Yum. <laughs> so good. Can't wait to eat. Can't wait to serve me up a plate.